So this is courtesy of Sky News. This is an article that says as follows. It says COVID mask. So face masks make people more attractive studies shows or studies suggest. Um, I don't think that's really a shocker for anybody. I think anybody that's been on the train or that's kind of went into a store or that's been out and about and especially during the height of the pandemic and then we were able to go out where the restrictions got eased and you were just kind of locked up in your home and you didn't get to see somebody that you were attracted to opposite sex same sex whatever and you saw somebody your heart would flutter be like, oh my god she's really hot and you didn't see the you didn't see her face you don't know what they look like but you've been so starved of flipping the physical um you know um what you call it physical whatever that when you see somebody switch their eyes you be like, oh my god that person looks like flipping cleopatra it's like nah mate they don't it's just because they're covering the majority of their face and usually most people have a half decent flipping brow area that can make them look a lot more attractive than they actually are because once they take off that mask that grizzle might be all sorts of funny style so let's see this following and obviously they've got an example here showing this guy um who's got a Z, no face mask on he's got a covering that just covers um, underneath his nose and he's got a mask on but that's colored and a mask on that's obviously surgical looking and you know if you see these two pictures there he clearly looks a lot more handsome than he does doing this picture and maybe even in this picture which i mean in terms of his overall face and structure and whatnot but here's an article it says face mask may have been among the more divisive issues of the COVID-19 pandemic, but those reluctant to wear one may change their minds now that academics have discovered that people look more attractive when wearing one. Yes, we know that they cover up half of your face, but a team of experts in Cardiff University has found that wearing a mask, in particular a blue medical mask, increases your facial attractiveness. Interesting. Um, Dr. Michael Lewis from University of School of Psychology, an expert in psychology of faces, said prior to the pandemic, research found that medical face masks reduce attractiveness. Um, his team wanted to see if the ubiquitous use of face masks to prevent the spread of COVID-19 since 2020 had changed people's perceptions. The study measured how different types of faces mask change attractiveness of 40 male faces. A group of women was asked to rate the attractiveness of images of male faces without a mask, wearing a cloth mask and a blue surgical mask, and medical mask and holding a black book covering the area the mask would hide on a scale of 1 to 10. Now, the only reason why I'd say this is a bit skewed, because like I said before, from the time that I went out the first time when restrictions got eased and clubs reopened, it was maybe the only time in my life, maybe since, you know, when you first go to the first sort of like house rave when you're 16 to like 19, I legitimately saw more people lipsing on the dance floor, snogging their other's faces off than I've ever seen since that time. I was 16 and 19. I swear to God. Every, everywhere I turned when I was in E1 I forgot I think it was E1 and Fold I was like Jesus Christ bro everyone's really hungry isn't it people were sucking each other's faces off legitimately everywhere I turned I might have saw a cheeky little you know finger finger um, what you call it <laughs> finger thrust going in certain places too and i was like god almighty these people are thirsty understood of course because you've been locked up indoors and you've been able to go out you've got double jabbed you've got the booster so you just you know what let me live free and be loose but this this survey might be skewed because these women might be super starving themselves and they're also getting their rocks off by looking at pictures of men that they find attractive on a piece of paper i don't know but let's continue what did the study discover even this picture even this little image here look how more cute all these girls look with their faces covered like from there to there do you know what i mean just just even covering the nose is a big deal crazy um dr lewis said our study suggests faces are considered most attractive when covered by medical mask they may be because um, we're used to healthcare workers wearing one blue mask and now we associate those with people caring on medical professions at a time when we feel vulnerable we may find wearing a face mask reassuring so we feel more positive towards the wearer maybe true we also found our faces are considerably still more significant when covered by cloth masks and um, then they're not with covered they were not covered some of these effect may result in being able to hide undesirable features the lower part of the face but this effect was present for the most least attractive people as well you know what this also explains this might also explain why a lot of people because i'm actually going to get it done that's the thing i'm gonna that's the only cosmetic surgery i'm really gonna get done so soon whenever i end up having saving the, the rest necessary amount i'm gonna make the I'm going to make the Essex and Chav pilgrimage to Turkey and get my teeth done, right? So I always went to get really great, like, Hollywood teeth, um, which is going to be mad. That's going to look fucking so good. But I've always noticed, especially with dudes, 
when do, women is a bit different especially when they get their full dentures done you sometimes look like they're wearing a mouth guard but I've noticed even with average looking guys just getting your teeth done even getting them whitened can take you up from like a four to like a seven really really quickly and I'd imagine because most people's bottom half of their face is you know it's a madness from their chin um, to the lack of maybe jawbone to maybe like a cheek but whatever this is a madness so if you're able to just improve your teeth it kind of makes every it's like when you get braces it kind of brings your chin forward it maybe makes you a little bit more square i don't know whatever it just it just there's something about that teeth straightening that kind of fixes it which makes sense because if people are saying that covering it increases how attractive you look just imagine if you add a little bit of pizzazz on there and you've got half decent you know okay top of your head you're gonna look pretty decent looking which also explains why people are so um, they can't keep their eyes off people that are super attractive because it's something you don't see often because most of us are buzz, myself included, right? The actual genuine hot people out here are aliens and freaks because we all have to, we're all kind of fighting and scrapping with what we have. Do you know what I mean? We're putting on cocoa but we're getting tanned, we're getting a little nip tuck here and there, we're working out, we're doing whatever we can to kind of elevate our levels but some people just wake up and they're just hot. Do you know what I mean? They just have the ability to just wake up, step out and people are just breaking their necks to look at them so maybe that's part of it but I'm definitely one of the best things that we're going to do so I think it's going to be a, a key investment second it probably the, the two biggest investments i'm definitely going to make in my life for the next couple of years is get my teeth done and get my driving license or my driver's license that's going to be two things i definitely need because obviously driver's license will allow me to not have to take my passport out with me all the time because it's always a, a little bit of a scary situation i have to take my passport out with me all the time when i want to go out in order to have id to obviously get into clubs which is not adequate because it's a passport you don't want to lose that and then obviously um, get my teeth done allow me just to you know just open up my face i mean i'll look amazing with like shiny white pearls no, no I, won't, I won't get a massive chompers just a nice subtle kind of set i'm gonna get done do you know what i mean just gonna look amazing i can't wait i can't wait for that to happen but yeah interesting um article it continues it says dr lewis added the current research shows that pandemic has changed our psychology in how we perceive wearers of mask when we see someone wearing a mask we no longer think that person has a disease i need to stay away i wonder if people are actually smashing with a mask on like if that's a turn on for some people they've got little kinks little rooms or if that's one of the people's kind of um interest or kinks that they put on their dating profiles on flipping you know dating apps and stuff i wonder um this relates to evolutionary psychology and why we select the partners we do disease and evidence of disease can play a big role in mate selections previously any clues on disease would be a big turn off now we have to observe the shift in our psychology and such the face such that the face makes so the face masks are no longer acting as a contaminating cue contamination cue sorry is that the reason obviously that kind of um evolutionary evolutionary psychology i wonder if that is in part due to how some men are super into girls that have like massive tears because they view that as like a sign of what like motherhood like you're going to be able to look after a lot of a bunch of kids or you know i don't know maybe it's is that is that a thing because there are some dudes that are having the i've never really been a big tit guy but i know there's dudes that are really into boobs like super and if the bigger they are the better they're the better for them jeremy they're gonna fall in love with you straight away and maybe that is maybe that's a kind of evolutionary psychology or evolutionary biology i don't know whatever that thing is where you basically think oh yeah this person's gonna be a good mother she's gonna look after all my kids i'm gonna impregnate her and run <laughs> i mean that kind of thing i don't know who knows man but yeah crazy situation um maybe i'll start wearing my mask more often now when i go out who knows that might help but it's always you know what i think of on the mask I think when you're wearing them, especially when you have to take them off, it kind of reminds me of that scene in the club where you feel like flipping prints in the 80s or stuff and you're dancing you're having a good time you feel so hot you're moving around you get you you you've exchanged some numbers with people you add some people on instagram you've got friends you've done a couple of bumps you've done maybe a pill or whatever and then bang the light comes on and suddenly your real self is exposed like who you really are <laughs> I kind of feel the same thing happens with the mask when you take it off. It's all like you look cute, you look hot, we're just covering your face, I mean, like that. But then when you take it off, everyone's like, ah. everyone's screaming, like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 